Herzlich willkommen zur zweiten Episode von How to Say in Deutsch. Heute werden wir lernen, wie man nach Kleidungsstücken in einem Modegeschäft fragt. Wir schauen uns auch an, wie man nach verschiedenen Mustern, Stoffen, Farben, Größen und Preisen eines Kleidungsstücks fragt. Welcome to the second episode of How to Say in German. Today we're going to learn how to ask for clothes at a fashion store. We will also have a look at how to ask for different types of patterns, fabrics, colors, sizes and prices of clothes. Lasst uns anfangen. Let's get started. At first it is important to know that in Germany you should use the polite personal pronoun when talking to strangers. So whenever you are in public or in a store and talk to strangers, always say sie. But remember that depending on the grammar case of the sentence, sie turns into ihnen. However, you shouldn't use du because du is only used when talking to people that you know well. Im folgenden Teil schauen wir uns zuerst die Frage und dann die Antwort an. Let's have a look at the first question. When a customer enters the store, the seller would ask, How can I help you? or What are you looking for? In German you would say, Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? or Was möchten Sie? Was suchen Sie? Let's first have a look at the first one. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Wie, how, kann ich, can I, Ihnen helfen, help you. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? The second option is, was möchten Sie? Or, was suchen Sie? Was, what, möchten Sie, do you want? Or, suchen Sie, do you search? Was möchten Sie? Was suchen Sie? Then you could answer, Ich möchte gerne. I would like to have. But if you're not alone and you're shopping with your friends, then you could say, Wir möchten gerne. We would like to have. So when you are alone, you say, Ich möchte gerne. When you are with your friends or somebody else, you can say, Wir möchten gerne. Then of course you should mention the thing that you are searching for. For example, a shirt. But if you don't search a specific thing and you only want to watch what the store offers you, you could answer the question like this. Ich möchte nur schauen. I just want to watch. Ich möchte nur schauen. But if you are shopping with somebody else, you can say, Wir möchten nur schauen. Wir möchten nur schauen. If you say that, then the seller knows that you need time to see what products they offer, which also means that it's not sure that you buy something. However, if you search a specific thing and you need consulting from the seller, you can say Ich suche, I search, or Wir suchen, we search. And then, of course, mention the thing that you are searching. Another option is Ich brauche, I need, or wir brauchen, we need. This sentence you should more likely say if you're going to a celebration like a wedding and you need special clothes for this event. So now let's just make an example with the first sentence. Ich suche ein schlichtes Shirt. Meaning, I search a plain shirt. Ich suche, I search, ein schlichtes Shirt, a plain shirt. Ich suche ein schlichtes Shirt. Then the seller could ask you this. In which color do you want it? In welcher Farbe wollen Sie es? In welcher Farbe, in which color, wollen Sie, do you want, es, it? In welcher Farbe wollen Sie es? Now you might ask yourself, what's the reason behind to write es? Here's a small reminder. Sometimes, to speed up the sentence, you can replace the noun or the word with these pronouns. In, you use for a male word. Sie, you use for a female word. Is, you use for a neutral word. Now let's just take the pronoun is, as we just have seen in the sentence, and have a look at how it is used. So let's take the same question that we just have had but put the direct noun or word into the sentence or the question. Then we would say, 
In welcher Farbe wollen Sie das T-Shirt? To speed up the sentence, you can replace the word T-Shirt with its pronoun, which is is, because das T-Shirt is a neutral word, so we have to use is. Then the question would be, in welcher Farbe wollen Sie es? So the pronoun es means das T-Shirt. But if the seller is asking you about more than one T-Shirt, then the pronoun is will turn into its plural, which turns is into C. So if you talk about more than one T-Shirt, the question would be, in welcher Farbe wollen Sie C? Now here's the thing. Please take care that the first C is the polite version when talking to a person that you don't know. The second C, which is marked in red color here, is the pronoun that we will have a look at now. The reason why is turns into C is the following. Das T-Shirt is one shirt and it's a neutral word, which means it's the third person singular and neutral, which is is. Die T-Shirts are more than one shirt, which means it's the third person plural. And due to the fact that the third person plural has no neutral word, and doesn't make a difference between female and male, you have to say C. Let's also make an example for replacing a female word. The female word in our example is die Hose. So instead of saying in welcher Farbe wollen Sie die Hose? You could say in welcher Farbe wollen Sie sie? And if it's more than one, you can say in welcher Farbe wollen Sie sie? Now you might ask yourself why it's both the same. Let's have a look. Die Hose is one trouser. So it's singular and female. Which means is the third person singular female. So we have to use the pronoun sie. And if we have more than one trouser, we have to say die Hosen. So it's also female but plural. So we have to use the third person plural which is C, because here we do not have a difference between neutral, female or male. All is C plural. Let's also make an example of replacing a male word with a pronoun. The male word is der Hut, meaning the head. So the question would be, in welcher Farbe wollen Sie den Hut? For usually you would assume that you should use the male article, which is der. But here the male article turns into den, due to the fact that here it's another case. But the reason why it changed we will clear up in another video. Now we will just have a look at replacing the noun. So instead of saying in welcher Farbe wollen Sie den Hut, you should say in welcher Farbe wollen Sie ihn? And if you have more than one head, you should say in welcher Farbe wollen Sie sie? At replacing a male noun, you should be careful, because for usually you would assume that der Hut, the head, is male and singular, so we would use the third person singular, er. But here we should use the accusative case, which means that the pronouns change like this for the accusative case. So er turns into in, still meaning the same. But you shouldn't say, in welcher Farbe wollen Sie er, that's wrong. You should say, in welcher Farbe wollen Sie ihn. So using the pronoun in the court case is very important. And if you have more than one head, der Hut turns into die Hüte. So it's plural. And here the rule stays the same. When something is plural, then we have to use the third person plural. Which doesn't make a difference between male, female or neutral. Let's take the first example with the shirt again and let's answer that question. You have to say, ich möchte es in blau. Ich möchte, I want, es, it meaning the shirt. But as we just have seen, we replaced das T-shirt with its pronoun es to make the sentence more short and fluently. In blau, in blue. Ich möchte es in blau. But of course, saying, ich möchte das T-Shirt in blau, 
would not be incorrect. Replacing it is just an option to make your language more fluently. However, in another case, if the seller gives you a shirt in a color that you don't like and you wish to have it in another color, you could say Haben Sie es nicht in anderen Farben? Haben Sie es nicht? Don't you have it? In anderen Farben, in other colors. Haben Sie es nicht in anderen Farben? Then the seller could say Aber natürlich. Aber, but, natürlich, of course. Aber natürlich. But in the case that the seller doesn't have the shirt in another color, he could say Leider nicht. Leider, unfortunately, nicht, not. Leider nicht. And if he wants to tell you the reason why it's not available in other colors, he could say Nein, es ist ein Einzelstück. Nein, no, es ist, it is, ein Einzelstück, a single piece. Nein, es ist ein Einzelstück. Let's continue with the third question, which is In which fabric do you prefer them? Meaning the shoes. In welchem Stoff oder Material bevorzugen Sie sie? The pronoun C replaces the noun the shoes, die Schuhe. In welchem, in which, Stoff, Fabric, Material, Material, bevorzugen Sie? Do you prefer Sie, them, the shoes? Then you could answer, ich bevorzuge Sie, ich bevorzuge, I prefer, See them, meaning the shoes, and choose one of these options. Aus Leder, of leather, aus Baumwolle, of cotton, aus Seide, of silk, aus Wolle, of wool. The next question is, do you also have a flowered blouse? Haben Sie auch eine geblümte Bluse? Haben Sie, do you have, auch, also, eine geblümte Bluse, a flowered blouse. Haben Sie auch eine geblümte Bluse? But if you search another pattern, you could say, Haben Sie auch eine karierte Bluse? Meaning, do you also have a checked blouse? Haben Sie auch eine karierte Bluse? Here's another option. Haben Sie auch eine gepunktete Bluse? Do you also have a dotted blouse? Haben Sie auch eine gepunktete Bluse? Or another option would be, haben Sie auch eine gestreifte Bluse? Do you also have a striped blouse? Haben Sie auch eine gestreifte Bluse? Here's a small reminder that you have to confirm the adjectives and the articles according to the noun, if the noun is female, male, neutral, singular or plural. So in this case, our female word is die Bluse. So the sentence or the question should be Haben Sie auch eine gestreifte Bluse? So the article ends with an E and the adjective ends as well with an E. If we have a neutral word like das Kleid, then the question would sound like this. Haben Sie auch ein gestreiftes Kleid? So the article gets no ending and the adjective gets ES as ending. Haben Sie auch ein gestreiftes Kleid? If we use a male word, for example, der Rock, it would sound like this. Haben Sie auch einen gestreiften Rock? So the article gets the ending EN and the adjective gets the ending EN as well. Haben Sie auch einen gestreiften Rock? Let's go back to the question. Do you also have a flowered blouse? Then the seller could say, Ich zeige sie Ihnen. Ich zeige, I show, see, it, the blouse, Ihnen, to you. Ich zeige sie Ihnen. After you've chosen the color in the fabric, now it's time to mention the size. So to select the correct shirt, the seller would ask you, Which size do you need? Welche Größe brauchen Sie? Welche Größe, which size, brauchen Sie? Do you need? Then you could answer, 
Ich brauche Größe. Ich brauche. I need. Größe. Size. And then of course mention your size. And here it doesn't matter if the size is a number or a letter. Next question is, do you have a matching trouser? Haben Sie auch eine passende Hose dazu? Haben Sie, do you have, auch, also, eine passende Hose dazu? A matching trouser to it? Haben Sie auch eine passende Hose dazu? When the seller then is searching a trouser for you, And he or she shows it to you and asks you for your opinion on it. He or she could say, Was halten Sie von dieser Hose? Was, what, halten Sie, do you think, von dieser Hose, of this trouser? Was halten Sie von dieser Hose? Or he directly could ask, Mögen Sie diese Hose? Mögen Sie? Do you like diese Hose, this trouser? Mögen Sie diese Hose? In case you like it, you could answer Ich mag die Hose sehr. Or Ich mag sie sehr. Ich mag sie or Ich mag die Hose. I like it, I like the trouser. Sehr, very much. And if you try on the trouser and it fits like a glove, you can say die Hose passt wie angegossen. Die Hose, the trouser, passt, fits, wie angegossen, like a glove. The adjective angegossen describes that something has the identical shape, like it was made for you. But if you just want to express that the trouser suits you good, you should say, die Hose steht mir gut. Sie or die Hose, it meaning the trouser, steht, suits, mir gut, me good, meaning that it suits you well. And in case the trouser is not really your style, you can say, Ich weiß nicht, vielleicht ist sie zu elegant. Ich möchte eine lässigere Hose. Ich weiß nicht, I don't know. Vielleicht ist sie zu elegant. Maybe it is too elegant. Ich möchte eine, I want a, lässigere Hose. More casual trouser. Ich weiß nicht, vielleicht ist sie zu elegant. Ich möchte eine lässigere Hose. And of course, if you're searching any other style, you can replace the adjectives in this sentence with the words of the style that you are searching for. So these sentences are only examples and you can use the same sentence replacing the adjectives or nouns. And in case that you like the trouser, but it is too loose but you would love to keep it, you could say Sie ist sehr locker. Haben Sie einen Gürtel dazu? Sie ist sehr locker. It is very loose. Haben Sie... Do you have einen Gürtel dazu, a belt to it? Sie ist sehr locker. Haben Sie einen Gürtel dazu? But in case it really doesn't fit, it is too big or too small and you really need another size, then you could say this. But please mark that in this example we use shoes. But of course you can use the same sentences to add any other noun. The shoes are too big. Do you have them three sizes smaller? Die Schuhe sind zu groß. Haben Sie sie drei Größen kleiner? Due to the fact that it is a long sentence, let's separate it into two parts. Die Schuhe sind zu groß. Die Schuhe, the shoes, sind zu, are too, groß, big. Die Schuhe sind zu groß. Haben Sie sie drei Größen kleiner? Haben Sie sie? Do you have them? Drei Größen, three sizes, kleiner, smaller. And please remember here as well, the first C is the polite version when talking to people that you don't know. And the second C means actually die Schuhe, the shoes, 
but it is replaced with its pronoun. Now, if the seller has the shoes in smaller sizes, he could easily say yes. But if it's not the case, he could say Nein, leider nicht. Das ist die kleinste Größe. Nein, leider nicht. Unfortunately not. Das ist die, that's the, kleinste Größe, smallest size. Nein, leider nicht. Das ist die kleinste Größe. Let's continue with the next question. Let's imagine you found a dress and you already tried on. But you aren't sure about if it looks good on you. So you could ask the seller or another person. May I ask you for your opinion on this dress? Darf ich Sie um Ihre Meinung zu diesem Kleid fragen? Darf ich, may I, Sie fragen, ask you, um Ihre Meinung, for your opinion, zu diesem Kleid, on this dress. Darf ich Sie um Ihre Meinung zu diesem Kleid fragen? And please mark that most of the times in German you mention the verb at the end of the sentence. So the pronoun is mentioned at the beginning of the sentence, but the conjugated verb which belongs to it is mentioned at the end of the sentence. If you ask someone for his or her opinion on this dress, you also have another option to ask the question. You could say as well, Was meinen Sie zu diesem Kleid? Was? What? Meinen Sie? Do you think zu diesem Kleid on this dress? Was meinen Sie zu diesem Kleid? Then that person could say, Es steht Ihnen sehr gut. Es steht Ihnen, it suits you, sehr gut, very well. Es steht Ihnen sehr gut, meaning it looks very good on you. The next question is, where can I find the jewelry? Wo kann ich den Schmuck finden? Wo, where, kann ich finden, can I find, den Schmuck, the jewelry. Wo kann ich den Schmuck finden? In this example again, the verb is separated from its pronoun. So the pronoun ich is written right at the beginning of the sentence and the conjugated verb, which is finden, is written at the end of the sentence. Wo kann ich den Schmuck finden? Then the seller could say, for example, Er befindet sich im zweiten Stockwerk. Er befindet sich, it is located, im zweiten, in the second, Stockwerk, floor. Er befindet sich im zweiten Stockwerk. Or he could say, gleich hier auf der linken Seite. Gleich hier, right here. Auf der linken Seite. On the left side. Gleich hier auf der linken Seite. After you have chosen a jewelry or anything else and you want to buy it, you can say Ich möchte diese Halskette kaufen. Ich möchte, I want, diese Halskette, this necklace, kaufen, to buy. Here again the verb is written at the end of the sentence. Ich möchte diese Halskette kaufen. Or you could say, ich nehme sie, ich nehme ihn, ich nehme es. Meaning, ich nehme, I take, and then the pronoun according to if the noun is female, male or neutral. Sie, ihn or is. After you've decided to buy something but you want to make sure about the price again, the question would be, how much does this suit cost? Wie viel kostet dieser Anzug? Wie viel kostet? How much does cost? Dieser Anzug. This suit. Wie viel kostet dieser Anzug? How much does this suit cost? Then the seller could answer, Der Anzug kostet. Der Anzug, the suit, kostet, costs. And then of course he would mention the price. And after the seller mentioned the price and you decided to finally buy it, then he would ask you, Zahlen Sie in bar oder mit Karte? Zahlen Sie, do you pay, in bar, in cash, oder mit Karte, or by card? 
zahlen Sie in bar oder mit Karte? Then you could answer, ich zahle in bar. Or, ich zahle mit Karte. Ich zahle, I pay, in bar, in cash, or mit Karte, by card. Ich zahle in bar oder ich zahle mit Karte. After you've paid the amount, the seller for usual asks, Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Brauchen Sie, do you need, eine Tüte, a bag? Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Then you could answer, if you want or need a bag, you can say, Ja bitte, das wäre sehr praktisch. Ja bitte, yes please, das wäre, that would be, sehr praktisch, very useful. Ja bitte, das wäre sehr praktisch. And if you want to say bye to that person, you should say, Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag. Ich wünsche Ihnen, I wish you, einen schönen Tag, a nice day. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag, meaning have a nice day. But if that person told you this before you could say it, then you should answer back Ebenso or Ihnen auch, meaning you too. But if you could say that, then the seller or that person would answer the same. Ebenso, Ihnen auch. Or you easily can say Vielen Dank, Tschüss. Thank you, Bye. Danke, dass ihr das Video geschaut habt. Und falls ihr mehr Übungen mit dem Vokabular der Kleidung braucht, dann schaut euch dieses Video an. Und falls ihr Fragen habt, schreibt sie in die Kommentare. Thank you for watching the video. If you need more practice about the vocabulary of clothes, then watch this video. And if you have any questions, comment them below.